Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. What we got here is Popeye and the, R the RC Sailors. I'm, uh, I'm very hopeful right now because over this last week of the videos that you guys have been watching, we've had just a dud after a dud after a dud of quadcopters. So I'm really hopeful that this one is not. It's a little bit more expensive, just slightly. Uh, than the others that we've had and it has a lot of features here. I actually took about 20 minutes to half hour to get everything set up on this quadcopter um, just for this video. Normally I'd show you all the stuff that comes inside before I put it together but because there are so many things that I needed to actually put together I just went ahead and started this way. Now this is also a very highly requested vehicle for the channel. Uh, surprisingly I, I've had a lot of you guys ask us to do the MJX X101 and that's exactly what this is. If at any point you like what you see, I'll have a link in the description box below. I'm fairly hopeful. This also comes with two batteries, so if it works out, we may end up flying it twice and do two separate videos just because we've had so many bad quads lately. This has been awful. It's been a rough week on us. So let's take a closer look at this. I'll show you what comes in the box, what you gotta do to get it ready, and then we'll go fly. Now we do get some instructions. I highly recommend that you hold on to those. Let's take a closer look at the quad because if you ask me, this looks like a mix between the Phantom and the Bugs 3 because of the, uh, the eyes there on the front. And then of course, the obvious reasons, it looks a lot like a Phantom. They've got the red and gray stripes and it's white and the legs. It just really looks a lot like a Phantom. Although it's not, you don't have brushless motors, there's no GPS. Uh, so, you know, we're gonna take a look here though. Uh, the motors are here right by the prop and they're downward facing and then there's a huge gear in there so you can hear the clicks so that's how you know it's a brushed motor and the, the camera i think will hopefully be something to actually speak of because you can uh, buy this separately they sell it separately it's called the c4008 and it, it seems like it's going to be a decent camera just from the looks of things now let's talk about the stuff that i did to prepare this for the flight the propellers need to be attached they do not come on it out of the box and you have the side screw into the prop shaft on each one. The prop, um, the arms, I should say, for the props are labeled. There's, a, uh, there's an A on this and a B on this, A here and a B here, and then your props on the bottom also correspond with the A and B, so keep that in mind. Let's take a look at the bottom of the quad here. We had to melt the camera on, which just snapped in place, and then two screws here on the front held it in place. We, we installed the included micro SD card. The Wi-Fi antenna holder here is held on with one screw. We installed that and then it snaps in place. All of the landing gear need to be installed before you can do that. And there are four screws holding it in at each one. So it's a total of eight screws holding the landing gear in. And then on the back, after you install the battery and you plug it in, you do have an on-off switch for the quad itself, which is right here. I haven't seen the lights yet. They look okay. That's okay. I like the red and blue. And then uh, it comes with a little converter for your balance port. Don't know if you can see that, Abby. But there's a little converter lead. Uh, this is for your two-cell LiPo battery. It plugs in to that. And then that provides power to the camera. So let's plug this in. And so I didn't have it plugged in because as soon as it plugs in, the camera's getting power and I didn't want it to drain my battery. So uh, yeah, it took it took me a while just because uh, tiny screws and I kept dropping the screws and stuff when I was installing it, but it's, it's good to go now. And I, I'm fairly impressed with how it looks. I'm, I'm very hopeful. You know, there were the eyes, did they glow? Yeah, good, oh good. Those look nice, don't they? They look like they have pupils. Yeah, I like the eyes. There's a black piece. Yeah, that's is. pretty cool. I like the eyes. That that's nice. You do get a micro SD card converter. All right, that's a uh, for your SD card that's in, included. It's a four gigabyte SD card. That's included. yeah. You're right. Uh huh. The flight battery is a 1200 milliamp um, two cell light bulb. It's 7.4 volts, and it did come with two of those, which is quite nice. I mean, Double the flight time. I like that. Like I said, we may do another video with this. You get your Phillips screwdriver. This worked for all the screws, and it worked well. It never stripped any of the screws or anything. Good size screwdriver for this. Here's your wall charger, which is very nice. It's a balancer, so it's good to hold on to to charge other vehicles that have nice hobby grade-esque batteries. 
You get prop guards. I'm not gonna fly with prop guards. I, I These think are massive. They're pretty big. Pretty big prop guard, yeah. That's about what it'd look like on each one. The screws are in the bags. Four spare props. The screws are in there too. And the transmitter. Transmitter's pretty nice. I've had a, this style of transmitter on the channel before. Um, I don't know if my phone will fit in here. It's a uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 4 in a uh, pretty big case. Uh, it yeah, fits, but fits. it probably isn't that secure, is it? Um, let's see. Yeah, that's not bad. Wow, that's impressive. pretty good. Okay, so I'm happy with that. And uh, everything is, is labeled pretty well on here. So uh, we're gonna take this out and, well, a few of the things are labeled yeah. anyway. We'll, uh, we'll get it in the air and see how, how it does. Uh, that's what everybody wants to know. But yeah, that's, it's a pretty good setup. I, I like this. Well, good news and bad news. We've got the quad bound up and ready to fly. But the bad news is we cannot get the FPV signal to work at all. We've tried three different MJX apps, the only three that are in existence. We've gone to their website, the English version, the Chinese version. We've used my Android phone, Abby's Apple phone, and we cannot get the FPV to work. Only the Wi-Fi signal. The, the camera is on, it's got the lights. It should work. We've got the Wi-Fi connected, so I don't know why the camera wouldn't work. Now, it's possible, very slightly possible that we could have like a non-FPV version somehow, but I... There's a Wi-Fi cable. Yeah, yeah, there's the Wi-Fi cable coming off of it, so... <laughs> and we were able to connect to it with Wi-Fi, so I don't know what that's all about. Regardless, we're going to put this in the air, and we will follow up with this one way or another. Uh, whether or not we can get it to work, we'll do another video with it just to let you guys know, because it's so highly requested. So I, I think that maybe I'll still be able to film by pressing my video button, possibly. We'll find out when we edit the video, but we are going to fly. So let's get it in the air and uh, maybe throw some tips at us. If you guys have this, because it was so highly requested, let us know, are we missing something? So check the comments yeah. down below. Let us know. Wi-Fi signal worked, but when we connected to the app, no camera right. image display. We're only human. We make mistakes all the time. And this is one of them. Let's get this in the air. Popeye's been dying. Possibly one of them. It may just not be working. Could be, could be. <laughs> Okay, now the Popeye's quieted down just a little bit. Um, it's flying pretty well. It's very, very big. It flies a little on the feathery side. And I did try to press the photo video button that doubles as the flip button. And when you press it, you just get a flip out of it. Press and hold. So, uh, press and hold should do the same thing. I'm holding it. Well, okay. You may be smarter than me. You feel me? Hopefully it is. I had to hold it for like three or four seconds. All right, uh, let's try a few buttons and see what we can get this to do. That is uh, headless mode. Yeah, and it's actually working. So the top left bumper is headless mode. It seems to do a pretty good job. It's working just fine. Get it out of headless mode. It does feel just a little underpowered. Um, <laughs> I was gonna say, throttle. flying really docile. But I'm going to crank this bottom right knob. I'll show you, I'll come up here. Okay. Okay, I have it turned all the way down. And when I turn this all the way up, my throttle is now gonna be punchier. So you can film the quad again, Abby. And I think we're gonna have much more throttle punch. So here we go, throttle punch in three, two, one. That's a lot better. We'll go right in. Now, while I'm filming, it won't let me flip. So I just hit the flip button, which is also the camera button, and it did not let me flip. So uh, let's see what happens if I hit it again. Maybe it's taking pictures, or maybe it's... Press and hold. That should have ended the video. I'd say that ended the video, and so now we can flip. Yeah, good. You're, you've got this. You've got it now. <laughs> maybe you should be flying. Would you like to? 
Well, you, there's other features, isn't there? Yeah, there are. There's okay. some buttons. So we have this uh, aileron rudder button. What it does is switches you from mode one to mode two. I'm not gonna be doing that. Uh, beginner, intermediate, and advanced. That's gonna be our rates. So uh, now we can there fly you go. a little more. Uh, oh, that's better. With our throttle cranked all the way up. It's actually pretty cool. I wanna turn the camera back on too. Okay, nope, that was unthrottling Why? down. Because I don't know what that did. I'm in a bit of a headless mode or something is reversed. I things, brought that to the rescue. Yeah, things are reversed, so. Get out of that. Yeah, that was not good. I don't know. I thought that was my video button, but it made the controls kind of messed up. So that was very odd. I want to try that bye a little bye. closer. Nathan, he just ran away. Okay, we'll go again. Bye bye. Where is he? He went to the other side of the building. Let's walk over here and get Popeye. Hey, buddy. There he is. Yeah. <laughs> He's back. <laughs> no, no worries. Okay, I got my camera turned on. Let's try that again. Oh, jeez. I, I, oh, <laughs> I want to get these buttons. Headless mode worked. It was. What is? What happened? What mode were you in? I, I think I bumped headless mode while I was way over there, and so I was very disoriented. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm make sure I'm not. Yeah, that was returned to home. Where's he now? Okay, that's good. Now let's see if there's a third ring. I believe there is. Maybe it's just beginner in the game. Huh, I think it might still be in headless mode. Yeah. Kind of acting, it's just a little funny. Yeah, let me, let me hit a uh, button here. I think this will knock us out of headless mode. Okay, we should be good now. Yeah, it's got better control over <laughs> No, it's like a permanent headless mode. <laughs> Things are a little messed up on this. I'm pushing away and it's going to the right. It's like it's in headless mode. Uh, kind of sketchy to fly this. I'm gonna land. We're gonna power off and power on. And try to reset this, cause it's acting a little funny. All right, I've reset everything. And you have to throttle up and down twice to get the motor suspended, just so you guys know. <laughs> Our experience so far with MJX is extremely hit and miss. The only quad that we've ever had is actually a Hex. That flew away was an MJX. But then we love the MJX Bugs 3, it's amazing. This one I'm uh, so on the fence about. I just don't know, just don't know. Has a high potential to be good. There's our beginner advance. Now we're in beginner flight mode. I can tell it's way more docile. So it does remember what mode you're in. That's interesting. There's uh, intermediate and okay okay so in advanced mode if you turn the right stick all the way over it does a flip in that direction i do not like when quads have that i really don't i was gonna say i like that <laughs> uh, so there's a back flip i don't know i guess it serves a purpose i like it better than a button yeah i think yeah okay so I like the uh, intermediate because I can push the stick all the way over and it doesn't flip. That's just me personally. This is huge. This is a big heavy quad and I feel like if it got close up and hit us, it would really hurt. <laughs> this does come with two batteries though. It does, yeah. So that kind of makes up for it being so heavy, especially if you put the prop guards on. Because that's going to decrease the flight time, so at least you got two batteries. Yeah, and this one's pretty good. I like the shape of the quad because it helps to see orientation. The front arms are almost straight, and the back arms are a bit of a, an angle. Popeye! Stop rolling. I'll scare away from it. <laughs> It's very windy right now too, and it's handling the wind quite nicely. So I think the reason people like this and we're requesting it 
is because it looks a lot like the Phantom, and they were hoping that it would fly like the Phantom. Far the cool it. thing also about the you tell about the transmitter? What the about? different modes, like you can, you have, there's a switch on the transmitter where you can switch from altitude hold well, to not altitude hold. It makes hold. it spring loaded. I don't think it makes it altitude uh, hold. I'll show them. Well. So, uh, I'm, I'm controlling the throttle now manually. And if you flip this all the way up, it's now spring loaded. Okay. But. So it's altitude hold regardless? Well. No, there's no altitude hold. Oh. This is just spring loaded. Uh, and if it is altitude hold, it's bad. Um, see how it's drifting up some? Well, there? it's not that bad, Nathan. Is there a way that it is switching from a barometer to no barometer? Let me throttle down and throttle. Oh, well, I'd be cool if it was. You know, maybe it is. Maybe it is because right now it acts like it's holding it. And I can switch it back to the other one. Fly it around, and then when I throw this switch down, now I have, I can, you know, pull throttle down and... Stop touching the throttle. When I push the throttle up, it goes up. Yeah. When I pull it down, it comes back down and stays there. I and think I, it does switch. If I throw this switch, I think I'm, I think I have altitude hold. I didn't think this had a barometer though, but... Nathan, come here. It acts like it does. <laughs> they probably couldn't hear any of that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it kind of acts like it has one. That's so crazy. I, I just can't wrap my mind around this. And I then don't know what it's trying to do. You can switch the right stick from being spring loaded to not spring loaded. I think we may have an auto land going on due to a low battery. Or. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what does this quadcopter want to be? <laughs> it's like trying to do it all and just can't really do any of it very good. Look, now, the camera the, light is flashing. Yeah, so this is in the altitude hold mode. Push the camera button again. Yeah, sometimes the camera button makes it die. Okay, so I'll press and hold it. I can't see what it's doing though. You pushed it away. <laughs> okay, I pressed it. But now, now, I don't think that's the camera button. Now it's going, the camera is going from red to green. I think that was like headless mode because Oh, it's just not. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. It's off. <laughs> the beast is off. So okay, let's <laughs> let's recap. Let's try to recap here. This quadcopter is really trying to do everything, and if you ask me, it's not doing any of it very well. Race quads are good at what? Going fast. FPV race quads. Camera drones are good at what? Stability and docile flying. This is trying to do a little bit of everything. Uh, mixed in with a little bit of toy grade quad because it, it's trying to do altitude hold over here. Watch this, I'll show you. Okay. Spring loaded throttle here, right? Now I throw the switch down and it's clicked, it's mm -hmm. clicking locks in place where it's at. And the instructions are okay, Throttle. but it's really broken English and it so makes it extremely broken. hard to understand the point they're trying to get across. Super broken. Most of the time I can draw a very easy conclusion to uh, whatever we're reviewing. And, and uh, I can tell you, hey, it's great. Uh, you should definitely buy one, which doesn't happen as often as, uh, as uh, <laughs> I would like. Or, hey, thumbs down like we've had all week long. They've all been junk. Uh, this one I'm so on the fence about. Now, it initially started off very poorly because we could not get the FPV app to work. We could connect to Wi-Fi. We moved for lighting. <laughs> I don't know if it looks any better. Uh, but initially, the uh, the app did not work at all. I mean, it connects to the Wi-Fi, but we can't get the uh, signal to come through. And, and then once it's in the air, the buttons that are labeled on here, uh, they say they are the function and camera button but it turns it into headless mode. And then the headless mode button is switching between mode one and mode two buttons. It is all over the place. This thing has a complete mind of its own. There were times that I almost crashed it because I thought I was hitting the flip button, but it turned it into headless mode and kept flying away. There were times that I thought I was turning the camera on and it returned to home instead. 
So I've flown hundreds of quadcopters and I've never had an experience like I've had with this one. I'm kind of afraid to fly it, yet I'm also excited to fly it again because I want to master this thing. What's going on with this? Why, why is it flying like that? I have no idea. Um, is this the first real zombie quad? Is it taking over the mind of the computer on board and it's got a mind of its own now? Uh, this is wild. It's very wild. It looks like it would be a great setup. It has a ton of components in here that would, uh, all other quads in this price point would beg to have, but none of it seems to work extremely well. It actually, I didn't even point this out yet, has rubber grommets for the camera to help uh, stabilize your video shots. So I would imagine those would look really nice if they worked, but they don't. Or do they? I don't really know. Why are we having such a bad streak of quads this week? I'm excited to get something good on the channel. What do you guys want to see on the channel? Should we fly this again? Should we try to figure it out? What am I doing wrong? I have no idea. I, I'm only human. This apparently is the zombie drone. I don't know what's going on with this. The MJX X101. If you want to check it out for yourself, we'll have a link in the description box below. I can't draw a conclusion to this at all. I think it needs to be put in the air again with a little practice on my end and see what's going on here. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.